Today's Thursday, April 26th. I'm Bijoli, and this is the last episode this semester of the Cal TV show. So, with finals about to end, and also about to start really soon, so I would hit main stacks, I was thinking that Berkeley's a really great place to actually do fun things at. I mean, we spend nine months of the year slaving away, why not enjoy the great campus that we have? So I was brainstorming really hard about all the cool things that there could be to do, and I thought, hey, why don't you take in a show at Zellerbach? But, unfortunately, there are no shows, they all end before finals even start. So then I was like, well, it's the summer. Things are definitely going to heat up, so we can all take a dip in Sproul Fountain. But then Rosa told me that Sproul Fountain's so gross that she can see mold and fungus actually swimming around on the surface of the water. That's disgusting. So it occurred to me that Berkeley's actually not that fun, which is probably why we slave away for nine months of the year. But don't worry, because summer's all about doing new things and going in new places, so I came up with some of the coolest things to do around the country. If you're in the New York area, make sure that you check out Magnolia's Bakery, which is in Manhattan. It is the cutest little cupcake shop, and it gets so packed that they even have a bouncer on Saturday nights, and the line stretches for a block. But trust me, the cupcakes are so worth the wait. If you're in Chicago, you can also go to the Hershey's Chocolate Factory. You can see how candy bars are made, you can get your own chocolate, and if you are a chocolate lover like me, trust me, it would be so much fun to go to. Uh, if you're in LA, which, if you haven't noticed, is the greatest place in the entire world, make sure that you check out the beaches. What me and my friends like to do is start in Orange County and work our way up till we get to Malibu. Some of the beaches are pretty disgusting, like Santa Monica, which coincidentally is where Rosa lives, but most of them are actually pretty cool, so clearly make sure you avoid Rosa and avoid Santa Monica. And lastly, if you end up staying up in NorCal for the summer, go to San Francisco. There are lots of great things to do. You can head over to Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf, Girardelli Square, or even just take a tour of the town like a tourist would as opposed to a jaded NorCal resident. And if all else fails, you are more than welcome to do summer sessions with me and Rosa, and we throw lots of fun parties too, so make sure you check that out. But why don't we head on over to Vince with another sports report. Vince? Hi, I'm Vince Tenura, bringing you another installment of the Cal TV Sports Update. The men's tennis team will be in action this weekend at the Pac-10 Championships in Ojai, California. The Bears kept their hopes for an NCAA regional bid alive with a 5-1 win over Stanford last weekend and will need another solid performance at the Pac-10s in order to cement themselves in the regional. The lacrosse team took the field at Memorial Stadium yesterday for their home finale and easily handled a visiting St. Mary's squad 18-9. Next up for Cal is a road trip to Colorado, where they'll take on a 16th-ranked Denver squad. The Bears are gearing up for the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation Championship, which begins May 3rd in Davis. And switching over to professional sports now, former Cal pitcher Brandon Morrow, now with the Seattle Mariners, earned his first big league win Monday night as the Mariners beat the Texas Rangers 5-4. The right-hander went three and a third innings, striking out two and walking two, and sitting down seven straight batters at one point. Morrow, the fifth overall pick in the 2006 MLB draft, has seen action in five games this season and is 1-0 with a 4.32 ERA and six strikeouts in eight and a third innings of work. The baseball team will play three games this weekend, hosting Arizona State at Evans Diamond for afternoon games Friday through Sunday. And that's all for the Cal TV Sports Update. Thanks for tuning in this semester, and have a great summer. Be jolly. Thanks for that, Vince. So this is our last episode of the Cal TV show for this semester. This is our first semester of doing the Cal TV show. From our pilot week to our last week now, we've come a long way from sharing not so interesting Berkeley news stories to doing not so investigative reports. We've tried a lot of new things. They haven't all been successes, but we plan on being here for a long time and we hope that you will be too. So from our Cal TV family to you, thank you for watching and make sure that you keep checking back because we'll have lots of great things coming up. I'm Pajoli and this is our last spring episode of the Cal TV show.